right, so I have a ton of new features coming to the OS6 library. I'm actually going to do a, a live video uh, later this evening. Um, I'll have a link in the description um, because I want to cover all this. So um, OS6 obviously released so much, and I don't think anyone's really taken advantage of everything possible. Um, and the, I'm about to do a large addition to the library that's basically going to introduce a ton of new stuff, and it's still only the tip of the iceberg. Um, but I think there's several hundred thousand new combinations, and it'll get explained a little bit more in the live video. Um, but what you're looking at now, this is a color shift blade. Um, and there's going to be a number of variations on this, and the number of ways you can use this. Um, but this blade, if you notice, if you've been watching, it actually got brighter um, over time. Um, so color shift is a new effect that actually lets you apply all kinds of different things, styles, colors, etc., as well as controls and timings. Um, to have your base blade effect change or shift over time and you can have it go one direction you can have it go back and forth um, you can have it based on swing based on clash you can have a lot of things now this one is a, a swing reset so what that means is it's going to do its thing but if I swing it it's going to go back to basic blue um, but over time it's going to start working its way back to a an ice blue um, and the idea behind this is, you know, you don't need to be all crazy colors and everything to actually get more out of your effects. Um, and that's one of the things I think gets lost. Um, a lot of people, when they think effects, they're thinking like prions. Um, they're thinking like really weird, flashy colors and all that. Um, it can be whatever you want. If you want to stay in the realm of a more canon look, there's so many effect capabilities that we can do that can just take it to the next level or just bring a little bit more interaction to it. Um, you can always go crazy, and that's part of what's coming, um, is we, we haven't really scratched the surface of what the responsive capabilities, the interactive capabilities, not to mention all the style modifiers, which kind of got lost in the shuffle. Um, so this one here, this being a color shift with swing, swing reset, there's a timing function. It's going to keep changing its color a little bit until I swing again, and then it'll start over again. Now this is hyper-responsive, so this also has that kind of effect that applies over it. Um, you can add swing effects to it or whatever. Um, but there's a several other ones that I want to show. And there's going to be too many to show. That's why I'm going to do a live video. So now this one here, this is a similar effect. Um, but this one's based on your use of the blade. So it's going to stay its color. But every time I swing, I'm actually going to get a little bit of a mix of color. Now I think I, on this one, I actually pulled a green in. Um, so you'll notice there's a little bit of movement here. Now every time I swing, you're going to see a little bit more movement and you're going to start to get a blending of green in there. And that's what the color shift is. Is you, can, you don't have to have it just shift from one color to another color. You can have it shift from one color and effect to another color and effect based on different things you're doing. So this one, every time I swing, it's going to build up momentum, but it's also going to change that color a little bit. And now we're getting into a cyan kind of area because it's going to eventually make its way to green. And it's using the swing movement, but also the swing acceleration to make that change. And then once it's gone to the full green level, it's going to stay that way until I retract the blade. And there's also a number of different ways you can reset it. But now that's full green, fully with a, with a, a bit of an unstable rage to it. And now if I retract, if you go back, I'm back to my starting point of blue. So color shift, you can have it do a lot of different things. And this one actually came up recently. So let me show this one. So in building all the interactive styles, um, each one of those takes time, but some of the interactive controls we can actually do pretty simply. Um, so what I'm doing, this new tool that's coming, um, is going to let you build interactive blades on your own. You're going to be able to mix and match thousands of combinations. This one here has a, this is a rotoscope style. But this one uses a clash buildup. So every time I clash the blade, it's going to get a little more unstable. Now this one is technically using color shift, but it's going to shift. The color is going to stay red. What we're shifting is the underlying effect. So we've got a rotoscope style, but every time I clash it, and it's based on how hard you clash as well, it's going to move its way into kind of an unstable pulse. And that pulse will pick up the more I do with clashes. And the harder the clash, obviously, we have the real clash effect, so a light clash does a different effect than a hard clash. But this is going to continuously build up and become more and more unstable 
the more I clash it. And the idea behind that is you can have a blade that's reacting to what's happening in terms of your clashes and uses. Um, and again, this one's reading when clashes happen, but it's also reading how hard those clashes are as to how quickly it changes over. Um, so this gives you kind of a way to build these interactive, um, unstable or stable or other blades all in this new tool. Um, so, and then finally, and, and there's, I'm, I'm not joking, there's hundreds of thousands of new style capabilities. Um, but let's show one more. So this is a vortex blade. Um, so this is going to be in the new tool as well. So the new tool is actually going to be, it's a, we basically, I'm taking the dual phase split blade builder and I'm just blowing it out of the water exponentially. Um, so the vortex blades, and there's going to be a large range of them, they're going to let you take two colors and styles, blend them together, but using a vortex feature. So the vortex is using style modifiers, which is something that, again, we haven't really explored that deeply, um, but it's actually letting me not only blend the two effects, but have them do different things together. Um, and we can do color blending, we can do, like I said, the color shifting, we can do vortex, we can do mirror, we can do regular split blade, we can do dual face. There's all these new capabilities where you're going to be able to take different styles, different effects, different colors, as well as a bunch of different parameters and make really, really unique animations. And you can go, you can have them be more simple, have them be kind of more in-universe, or you can go crazy with your colors and your mixing and matching. I mean, the Profi has always been unlimited in potential, but I think a lot of people, because of the library, don't really explore it. So what I wanted to do is this new tool is going to let you explore, again, still just the tip of the iceberg right now, but explore how much we can do. And effects for Profi, they're not just a pre -on. It's not just having some ignition effect. It's not just having some retraction effect. Every aspect of your blade while it's on or off, every individual effect, the base blade, the everything, can react in real time to your swing speed, to where the blade is angled, where the twist is angled, which is the rotation of the hilt, um, how hard you're swinging it, how hard it's being clashed. All of these parameters can get applied in all these different ways, and we can use style modifiers to change if the effect is running up the blade or down the blade, if it's running from the center, if it's running from the end, we can modify all of that and mix and match colors, effects, and blend movement and animation to create the most unique things you want. And it's really only up to your imagination. This tool is going to let you do a ton of stuff, but it's still a fraction of a fraction of what is actually possible. And my plan, the first rollout is, like I said, several hundred thousand combinations. There's a ton more that I'm going to be building in, but I wanted to show this tool and introduce it tonight on the live show explain some of the features, but then it's really going to be up to you to start playing with it and coming up with whatever you want to design. Um, but the, the capabilities of the effects of Profi Board, they're, they're unparalleled. And I know other boards, and I'm not putting down other boards, other boards have things they're doing. They're adding prions. We had that in OS4. Um, they're adding some ignition effects. Again, we've had those since OS4. But those are static things. They, they do something in a set color for a set period of time, and then they're done. The Profi Board styles can be as interactive, as responsive as you want. They can be, they can automatically fit themselves to different blade lengths. They can automatically time themselves to different prion, ignition, hum sounds. Everything is, is exponentially possible in Profi Board versus what you're going to get in everything else. So I want to give you guys a, a, a tool to let you start really playing with the capabilities, but I do have to explain it because there's so much. It was going to be just impossible to do a simple video on it. So join me tonight. Even if you don't have a profit board and you just want to see what we're talking about, um, join me tonight, and I think you'll have your mind blown. So hope to see you then, and until then, hope you enjoy.